I'd like to do an example of one of the more difficult problems given on the homework. It has to do with a fire boat that is spraying water onto a fire from a lake. So use calculator quadratic regression to find all equations. Pay close attention to how the equations are alike or different. See the parabolic water spray from the fire boat in figure. Assume that H here is 170 and that W is 400. First question, place the origin at A. Find the ordered pairs for the remaining lettered points of the water spray. Fit an equation to the water spray. Round all numerical values to four decimal places. It's pretty easy to do this both by hand and um, with quadratic regression, but it does ask me to use quadratic regression. So I will show you how to do this. So the first thing we have to do is find these points. Now I've made a little graph here. A is 0, 0 because it said put A at the origin. And then it had the length W from A to C. And W was 400. That makes 400, 0 here. And that makes point D 200, 0. And since the height of the spray, the spray kind of goes like this. Since the height of the spray was 170, this point is 200, 170. Now, a key point with quadratic regression is A, B, and C, in this case, are the only points on the parabola, on the quadratic equation. So those are the three points that you should use. Now, if I'm going to do this using quadratic regression, here's what I do. I turn on my calculator, and I'm now going to place in those points. Let me move this a little here. So I hit stat, and remember the first thing you do is hit edit, clear the list by going up to the top, to the top L1 here, hitting clear and enter. Now go over to L2, hit clear, then enter. Now let's put in the three points. Now remember, the only three points are A, B, and C in this case. D is not a point on the parabola. It was useful for figuring out what we were doing, but it's not a point on the parabola. So I put in my first point, 0, 0. My second point, 200, 170. And my third point, 400, 0. So I have my three points in there. Now, what I want to do is hit the stat key. Go over to the calc menu by hitting one right arrow. Go down to quadratic regression. You will get this screen if you are using a TI-83 or a TI-84 without the updated operating system. If you are using a TI-84 with the updated operating system, you will get a screen that says X list L1, Y list L2, frequency should be blank, store regression equation should be blank, and calculate. Use your down arrows to go down to calculate. In either case, either hit calculate or hit enter, and you should get this. This is my equation. So I will write these down now in where they're supposed to be as indicated in web science. So B is 200, 170. C is 400, 0. And Y is AX squared plus BX plus C. Let's take a look at that again. A is point zero, minus 0 0.00425. B is 1.7 and C is 0. So minus 0 0.00425. To five. Now, it said round to four decimal places, so minus 0 0.00425 would round to 0 0.043x squared plus 1.7x plus 0. I don't really have to indicate. Now, we're going to do another problem. I'm going to ask you to do it, and what I'd like you to do after we read the problem is hit the pause button, and then I will solve it for you when you're ready. So, let's look at this one. Place the origin at point B. Find the ordered pairs for the remaining lettered points on the water spray. Fit an equation to the water spray. Round to four decimal places. Okay, so why don't you hit the pause button now 
and then we can do this problem together. If you're ready, let's take a look at this. So here I've drawn a little picture here. And so B now is at the origin. Since this is 170 feet, D then would be 0 minus 170. Since this here is 400 feet, this one would be minus 200 minus 170. And this one would be 200, 170. My water jet looks like this. Notice the three points again are just A, B, and C. So I will enter those in my calculator. So here we go. Bring my calculator over. Hit Stat, Edit. Go enter in the first point. Well, let's clear the list first. Go up to the top, L1. Hit Clear, Enter. Go up to the top of L2, hit clear and enter. Let's put these in, negative 200 and negative 170, okay? Zero and zero and 200 and negative 170, all right? Those correspond to my points here. This one's negative 170 and we now can find our quadratic regression. Recall how to do that. Hit stat, go over to calc, go down to quadratic regression, hit enter. Again, if you have an 83, it will look like this. If you have an 84 with the updated operating system, it will say x list, y list, store regression equation, frequency, and calculate. Go down to calculate. In either case, you should get this answer y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Notice a again is minus 0 0.00425, rounded to four decimal places, that's 0 0.043. b and c are zero, so in this case, here's our answers. So a was minus 200 minus 170, b is minus 200 minus 170, and y is equal to minus 0.0043x squared plus no b and no c because both b and c are zero. Just for practice, let's do the last one. The last one asks you to place the origin at point c and find the ordered pairs. Again, I would suggest that you hit the pause button now. If you're ready, here we go. So C is the origin. This distance is 400. So this is minus 400, 0. This is halfway, so this is minus 200, 0 for D. So B is minus 200, 170. Again, remember, the height of the water spray is 170. So there I have it. Now, those are my three points, minus 400, 0 minus 200, positive 170, and 0, 0. Let's go to the calculator. I hit stat, edit. Let's clear our lists again. All the way up to the top, using the arrow keys, clear, enter. All the way up to the top, using the arrow keys, clear, enter. Then let's put these in. My points were minus 400 and 0 minus 200 and 170 and 0 and 0. Now do a quadratic regression. Hit stat, go over one arrow to calc, down to quadratic regression, either hit enter or calculate to get this one, minus 0 0.00425, that's negative 0 0.0043 rounded to four decimal places, minus 1.7x, and c is 0. So write these points in. a was minus 400, 0. b was minus 200, 170. And my equation is minus 0.0043x squared minus 1.7x. I hope this is helpful in helping you solve these problems.